Good afternoon. <laughs> I forgot what time of day it was. Hello, everyone. Welcome on into uh, game number 155 of the Mariners 2021 season. We have nine days until the postseason. We have eight games remaining, uh, and we got a kind of a weird win yesterday. Um, if you remember, down one nothing, got one in the seventh, one in the ninth. Uh, Ken Giles came in, got the save. And we prevailed with a 2-1 victory against Los Angeles, giving us a, a good start here after the miserable series in Oakland, uh, starting out slightly miserably here in Los Angeles. If you'd like to see the rest of the games of this season, just scroll down, subscribe, ring that bell, make sure that you're notified when I post new videos. Baseball posted every single day at 1 p.m. Pacific time uh, right here on youtube.com slash Rex. Today, it does not get any easier. Um, as we have, uh, Shohei Otani to face. He is four and eight with a 6.70 ERA. However, he has a pitch combination that really gives me, um, trouble. So we'll see how that goes today. We, on the other hand, the, the positive hand, we have Sam Delaplane, who has a 1.99 ERA, 17 wins, five losses, those 17 wins among the top of the American league. Now we have an interesting scenario here, which I kind of touched on yesterday but because you know there's a lot of other stuff going on i should be focusing on that and maybe should have focused on that a little bit more just because of how uh, poorly the hitting went yesterday sam delaplane is two wins off of dylan bundy who has 19 wins in the american league win leader column dylan bundy plays for the los angeles angels of anaheim he will get two more starts both against the seattle mariners Sam Delaplane will get two more starts, both against the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, I think. It might be the third, the fifth game in, in Oakland. We can check that here in a second, or the third game in, against Oakland. We can check that in a second. So we have an opportunity to withhold wins from Bundy and get Delaplane two more wins to put him at the top uh, of the American League leading, uh, uh, the American League win leaderboard, whatever. God, that came out incorrectly, but I think you understand what I'm saying. He will get, yeah, he'll get the uh, he'll get the first game of uh, against Los Angeles in Seattle. As we uh, take a quick look here at the standings, um, two more games on this road trip, the final road trip of the season, final two games away from home. Then we get Oakland and Los Angeles back in Seattle before the playoffs start. There's a look at your standings. 98 and 56 are the Seattle Mariners. The Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, 91 and 63. They are seven games behind us, four and six in their last 10, and they have lost five in a row. Taking a look at the um, wild card picture, the Blue Jays and Yankees knotted up both two games behind in the wild card, uh, but both teams tied for the lead of the American League East. Angels on a five-game losing streak. Astros on a five-game win streak. Um, and it's down to those four teams. Likely three teams. Um, Anaheim or Los Angeles might fall out depending on how the rest of this series goes against us. And the series against us in Seattle. They might be able to clinch themselves a playoff berth in the three games that we don't play them. But I'm not 100% sure. They also might have an extra game as well. But I'm, I don't know. They're an even seven back. Never mind. Uh, the elimination number yesterday was four for the Angels. Today it is two, which means that these head-to-head -head games mean a lot, and we might be able to put them away in this series. But we need to focus on just getting through this series. The bats were not woken up yesterday. Uh, a little bit of a continuation of the struggles we had in Oakland. And, um, yeah, I I don't know. We had some good contact yesterday, a lot of flyouts, a, lot of, a couple of perfect hits that were just perfectly right to the other team. So that kind of sucked. Um, Sam Delaplane, he'll go. Fraley's in left field. Oh, Jamie Baria is actually going to be the starting pitcher for the Los Angeles Angels. Interesting. Very interesting. Sometimes it does that. It gives you the like probable starter or the, the theoretical starter or whatever. And then it, it switches on you. Um, let's see. Let's do this. We'll get uh, we'll get Evan White out here. We'll throw Shedlong Jr. in the lineup at the DH spot. Try and even out some of these uh, energies here. Um, I could honestly 
Maybe even do... I could put Marmalejos in. He has great power against right. He's right-handed. He's just so... We can put Tremel in, in left. We lose a little bit of power, but we have a ton of speed here at the, at the start, at the top of the lineup. It's a bunch of lefties right off the top. And some righties. Um, and then we can use, uh, we can have Shedlong Jr. move over to second tomorrow. Unless we have another viable. We have Sam Haggerty. He's fast, but does not have a lot of power. That's the problem. We have a lot of guys. We have some good speed here. Just not a lot of power. Murphy's, all, Murphy's the easiest guy to substitute out. We'll keep Shedlong Jr. in tomorrow for Dylan Moore. Ty France usually just DHs, so he should be fine. And then Hanniger, we can move somebody around. Fraley might even get a day off as well. So we could always... We, we'll, we'll figure it out. It'll be fine. Everything will be fine. As we jump on in here, Sam Delaplane. Been one of my uh, stronger pitchers throughout the season here. Um, we'll see if... Uh, I don't know what happened with their pitching lineup, but we'll see if we actually get that league leader in saves, or excuse me, in wins going against us. Don't forget, scroll down, subscribe, ring that bell, do all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying. Have um, eight days left. I apologize, nine days left. Eight Mariners games. You get one Chad Champ between the uh, Oakland and the Los Angeles series in Seattle. Freeway, we're here live for and then we'll figure out what the heck to do with the playoffs. Today, That'll be interesting. The Seattle Mariners and the Los the Angeles Seattle Mariners. of Anaheim. Los Angeles find themselves on a five-game skid. They'll try to get back on track next. Jaime Berea. Jaime Berea. No starts. 8 and 7 record, a 4.03 ERA. 136.1 innings pitched. 88 to 52 strikeouts to walks. Interesting. And anytime you have four pitches, if you could throw them for strikes, you have the big advantage. So now here is Jake Fraley. He will lead this one off today. All right. Here we go. Now the first pitch. Ooh, that's a nice little slider there. I mean, it, it would take a major tailspin for the Angels, but they could fall out of the wild card. A bad series here and in Seattle against us. Bad series in between those. That was a bad swing. Fitting. I got our first uh, first snowfall that stuck today. I thought it was just frosty outside, and then the beeb came out and was like, "Yeah, did you see it was snowing? Or there was snow." And we should see some 90s as we go forward. 88 degrees, our game time temperature. Fitting that I uh, talk about snow, and then it's like, "Yeah, we'll see the 90s today." The one two lifted down the line and left. Oh, just pulled left. Everything's been high in the zone. Slider four seam change up two seam. That's a good take right there. That's a good take. Look at that. We've already seen five pitches with one batter. Good news. Get back up the middle. And that's the first down. That uh, base is weirdly lit. Okay. Taylor Trammell. So we started high in the zone last time. And this okay. pitch is we'll... taken on the inner half for strike okay. one. Drats. Oh, he's safe. He outran it. Nice. Nice. 
Nice! I know that's the symbol for out, but that's just a fist pump and cheer. There you go, Trammell. He is safe. Wow, actually quite safe. I kept waiting for it to come in on the right side of the frame, and then it just didn't. Alright. His steal isn't great. We're not going to worry about it. I goofed that up yesterday. Oh, that, that was a foul. Foul ball. Sending him all the way to round a third. It was a little off. Pretty good timing. It was a little more of a dangerous send than I thought it was going to be. I did send him pretty quickly. As soon as I saw it was going to get down, I made sure that he kept his speed going. I mean, you say that, but at the same time, I also... Oh, I wanted the I wanted the swing. I was looking for that off-speed pitch to dive in. Runners are at first and third, one away. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Oh, and two count. Here's the pitch. Now a that one fouled off as well. So it looks like the looks like the Yankees. Loss. The Blue Jays won. Oh my god, that was a really bad slider. Okay. Okay. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. Oh. Another foul ball. The O2. God damn it. I'm so early on all of these sliders. I got to be careful because I don't want him to throw one outside. Okay, that's a good take. That's a good take. Watch that he tries to double up on it. And he chased it in the dirt. Go to first, and that gets him out of the jam. Back to back strikeouts. Awful. Awful strikeouts. That's mm -hmm. heinous. Fuck me. Like, just absolutely fuck me. Tom Murphy just is the catcher. Sam Delaplane is the starting pitcher. I just saw the back of his jersey. 17-5 with a 1.99 ERA and 30 starts. 176.2 innings pitched. 151-9 strikeouts to walks. And a, uh, a disappointing um, disappointing into that first inning. Two really bad strikeouts. Both of them well out of the zone. With two of my better power hitters in the lineup. Now here's the, pitch. the most annoying thing is when I feel like I know it's coming and I still fall for it anyway. Like he's going to throw it out of the zone and I swing something that they go, you couldn't hit that with an oar. It's like, well, you don't have to, you don't have to say it to everybody. down with the bases empty and that'll bring up the shortstop Jose Iglesias and oh man that was a generous strike on the outside for strike one. Oh. 
set to deliver the 0 and 1. Swing and a liner. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Fuck you. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that, that ball, stay square as long as possible. God, that's bullshit. And feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. In now is Anthony Rendon as he'll take a look at Oh, fuck off. Misses for ball one. We did get him to throw 17 pitches or 18 pitches in that first inning, so Popped him up. That is a that's a positive. More ranges back and he has it for out number 2. Here's Justin Upton that now. A couple of hits for him in no four trips field. in yesterday's Jump game. In. First pitch on its way to Upton. Hey, here's a nice strike. Hey, when you're featuring a mid 90s fastball like this pitcher, Attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off-speed pitches later in the game. Fly ball out toward left center field. Fraley is under it, and he makes the there catch. There we go. Okay. So pretty decent. Um, I think a few bottom of, of the first. Get out of the sun, and inning in the books. No score on the show. set for the start of the inning and that'll bring in Ty France the third baseman, Ty France. playing at third base Ty France today first pitch coming here it is fuck the wind up and the 0-1 tries to shake All right. the corner with that'll that work. pitch but it's 1-1 one and one. Time for a look at the umpires working this one. Behind the plate is Daryl Parker. Well, Dero, Daryl Parker behind the dish, and you never really know what you're going to get from this guy. Yeah, sometimes, and I'd hate to be mean and say he flips a coin back there because that's not the case. But as an offensive player, you have to find a consistent zone. You just can't. Hot shot to third and handled for the first down. I am so early on all of his stuff. That's not the four seam fastball. So the next to bat will be Dylan Moore. And but still a decent at bat there. The pitch. Missed opportunity on that opening slider. Bases are empty, one man out. Fastball swung on. That was uh, not a good at bat. And that's the second out. And that'll bring in J.P. Crawford. And there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. In there. Fuck. For his career in this matchup, he's gone two for five. Lifted in the air to straight away center. Well, that'll take care of that. Marsh will get there. Still threw an okay number of pitches on the he only threw like eight or nine, but two, three go the Mariners. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. I'm just not not seeing it well at all. Ready to go for the last half of the inning and As silly as it might sound, it sometimes feels like I'm overthinking it there. At the plate. Just gotta let it flow. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Also, we have a good opportunity to get Kyle Seeger the league uh, the American League lead in ribbies, and uh, we're just not doing that. Lifted down the line and left. Left fielder is on the move. Oh, of course he made that animation. Put a man in scoring position to start the inning. And he will get there as the Angels are in business with a leadoff double. Man, that swing looked like self-defense than a real quality swing. But hey, he muscled it out there and it was enough to get him safely the second. Those are the kind of hits that will drive you nuts as a pitcher. Here 
here's Dexter Fowler now. Batting left-handed here as he takes a look at strike one. The average for him at 267 on the year. 16 homers and 62 driven in. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. All right, 0 and 2 here. Mazzara stands at second with no outs. Line, but speared on a That'll work. And That'll work. Down now. Not advancing the runner. The Ribbies in the National League tied at 103. Pete Alonzo right behind with 102. Will Smith, 10, 100, excuse me. And then Hosmer, 99. Wow. There you go. Four seam fastball, well located. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Pulled the string on him there as this is popped up. Back behind. All second. right. There we go. Two Pitch outs. Have it advanced the runner. Good news. Second out. Now in the box. Matt Seitz. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. And now the first pitch. Grounded back up the middle. And that is through in the center field. A base hit. Now a long throw home. And he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. One in the inning. Fuck off. The Come on. We'll go now to the top that was a really third. bad throw, too. The Angels lead it one to nothing. And now, Tom Murphy, and he'll start. I do tend to play a bend but don't break <laughs> sort of defense, and I broke there. pitch well out in front of the god damn it I'm so strength. fucking early on all this shit oh that's early too I love everything this pitcher's got working right now he's got presence he's got great body language on the mound he's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off speed stuff mm. One two is fastball taken Ooh. high for a ball. Boulder take than I anticipated, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. Popped up. Rendon over to his left. One out. And with one away, we give you a look here at the division standings in the month of September. So here is Jake Fraley. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Now here's the first offering. To third. A dive and he knocks it down. Throw will not He'll be get there. First, a good effort that time, but not enough to prevent them from getting a one-out base runner. I was just late on that. Damn. Taylor Trammell. Oh. Sends it in the air out to left center. Upton's under it. He's got it, and there are two down now. In now the Mariners' DH, Shedlong Jr. He collected a base hit his first time up. Has a look, now the pitch. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And this one bounds around against the wall. Fraley blows through the stop sign, headed for home. But no, he'll put on the brakes and head back to third. Absolutely scorched that. Holy shit. Oh my god, I almost fucked all of that up. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was so unnecessarily dramatic. How bad was this? Don't go to the bullpen. Oh my god. Welcome back to a wannabe breakdown here on youtube.com slash seanosaurusrex. Uh, my name is Sean. Today we're taking a look at... Uh, I get very lucky at, that I didn't completely blow this uh, situation uh, apart. 
We have two outs here in the top half of the third inning. We're down one. Each team has three hits. We have 90 speed Jake Fraley over there on first base. We have Shedlong Jr., a player that's been great every time I've used him. I, I used him in the season that I did last year that I did most of. Played fantastically this year, has been more of the same. He's come through with some timely hitting. Uh, he is looking at an uh, OO count here. Um, and we're going to get a nice hit. We're going to rocket this all the way into the right field corner. Now, immediately I send Jake Fraley to third base, and I make sure to send Shedlong Jr. to second, because this is an easy double. The ball gets down all the way out here, but it does kick back pretty considerably, like all the way from here into the to, into the outfield grass. As this ball is carrying, we have Jake Fraley here. He's about halfway between second and third base. Uh, I decide to try and send him home because I want to tie this game. Uh, as I as the play continues here and I see that the ball is getting thrown in, we have it over here. It's about to get into this guy's glove. It's an easy stand-up double for Shedlong Jr. It's an easy first to third here for Jake Fraley. But this play at the plate is going to be real, real close. So I elect to go ahead and send him back. Now, what happens when I try to send him back, the control set I have is push to the left, uh, like push it to highlight the runner, and then push the base that they want to go to. I accidentally send Shedlong Jr. Instead of hitting left, I guess I hit up left or something, and it highlighted Shedlong Jr. So he starts going to third while I'm trying to get Jake Fraley to go back to third. The throw, thankfully, is coming in because he's already thrown the ball. It's going to go to home plate. Jake Fraley's going to probably be pretty good, like safe at third without much problem. Uh, but Sh Shedlong Jr. is only about half that speed. He's like a 49 speed rating, so I'm not 100% sure if he's going to get back to second. Now, the ball is still coming in. It's uh, going, actually, it's going over to third. Where'd that, where'd that come from? Oh, they actually, okay. I thought the throw was going to home. They actually routed over to third because I think they're going to try and get Shedlong Jr., I'm able to get him turned around um, in uh, in a decent amount of time, but it's still going to be a pretty tight play. Fraley is safe at third, and Shedlong Jr. safe at second. So a near disaster averted by uh, the Mariners. Uh, and my over-aggressiveness here in the... Um, in the top half of the third inning. I don't like the way this camera works. It actually drives me nuts. Because as soon as you get to any of the walls, it just, like, goes inside. So there you have it. Uh, if you like this breakdown, uh, go ahead and subscribe. YouTube.com slash Rex. Hit that bell so you're notified when I post new videos every day. 6 a.m., 1 p.m. If you're watching this in the middle of a game, we'll get back to it here in just, uh, just a moment. Thank you for watching. Let's, uh, let's go on. All right. And that almost was an extra disaster because Kyle Seeger is up to bat. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger. Ooh, he missed. First foul the plate. For one here Gave myself a little opportunity to get a, uh, get the outro screen in there. If you're wondering why I was like kind of counting to 10. <laughs> God, this fucking video game. Uh, Max Stassi. First offering. Come on, where's the field? Where's the field? Where's the field? Great, you want to go right back to the slider, huh? The 1 0 home. Pulls this one in the air out to left. So it turns out that uh, didn't really matter. Didn't score any runs anyway, but. It's important that I gave myself the opportunity, trying to at least bring someone else to the plate to get a ribby. Um, I didn't realize when I sent Fraley all the way to home, I really did not understand how much kickback that ball had. I thought it would kind of like die out there. 
and it'd be, you know, kind of... I thought it would rattle around just enough to give me enough time to get all the way to home. Instead, no. Good to see a couple of Mariners there. We're one good pitch from a double play, getting out of the inning. That's a nice strike on the changeup. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Iglesias hits a little over the 270 mark. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Long run for the center fielder. He gets there, and that's the second out. And he scurries back to first base safely. So next to bat will be Anthony Rendon. He flew out in his last A.B. He's set. Here it comes. He offers at it and hits it in the air to left. Trammell is there, there we go. and he'll put it away to retire the side. So okay. with no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Three innings complete. It's the Angels one and the Mariners nothing. Striding in is Mitch Hanniger, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Hey, he's rolling so far in this one as we head in to the middle part of this game. How about 90% of his first pitches have been for strikes? If he continues to do that, he just might finish this one. So here now is Ty France. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the God placement. fucking damn it. Oh, and a hearty cut there to begin the at bat. It's nothing in one. Grounder down the line at third. But that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. There we go. Back up the middle Finally, the some good timing. I'm I'm positive that that is because he threw a fastball and I didn't really make an adjustment. Alright. One on, one out. Standing in now, Dylan Moore. As That's way out of time. That'll work. Low and away for ball one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding oh, thank out you. in his only trip to the plate so far. St. Andreas, by the way, now available with Xbox Game Pass. Surprisingly large file size. It's like 20 gigs. Oh, my God. No runs, five hits, and no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point. A bouncer to the left side. Throw gets him, two down. Stepping in once again is J.P. Crawford. The base knock to the outfield could score the tying run from second. I mean, it won't, but... He's set and the pitch. God damn it. Fucking throw it in the zone, motherfucker. Sean, stop swinging outside of the zone, motherfucker. All right. Fair point. Fair point. Lying toward the gap in left center. That's in there. Base hit. Wow, that really did score the run from second. Okay. to score from second. They were in the middle of this one already. They finally score a run, and they've had a tough time scoring some okay. runs. Yeah, after taking it on the chin yesterday, it's nice to finally break through. Maybe this gives the offense the confidence it needs. They forget that I won yesterday? I mean, it was awful, but I won. I wasn't sure if uh, a hit like that would get the runner all the way home, just because he only has 22 speed. But thankfully, it was enough. And then we'll throw it all away right here. Just early on that slider. 
All right, well, Crawford came through. We tied the game at one. Took six hits, which is not good. It does not bode well for me if I have to get another run. We'll need another six hits just to do that. So that's good. Wow. Cam Newton back with the Panthers. Bottom of the inning now. And standing in is the veteran outfielder, Justin Upton. Now we're looking tremendous pitch count wise. 25 pitches through the th first three innings. Getting a good number of strikes on the first pitch. Putting ourselves in good position. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but it's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. The one, two. Oh, that was a nasty sweeping slider right there. If he was able to just catch the corner a little bit, he would have picked up that backwards K. And he oh, there we go. Back to back sliders. All right. Normally, I don't like that, Tom Murphy, but it worked this time. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on. And when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. And now the power hitting outfielder Nomar Mazzara. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground to the left side. Okay, that was a. Uh... Throw into second. He's out. He's out. He's out. I was a terrible base running decision. That was an awful outfielding uh, route running. That's my fault. Uh, but uh, works out okay. I didn't want it to get past him, so I tried to. I didn't want the ball to get past him. So instead of trying to meet it, I went around and like tried to like cut it off, but it died a lot sooner than I thought it would. The momentum just stopped. Like, okay. And he falls behind 0-2. One run, five hits, and no errors to this point for the Angels. It's fouled away. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was laid on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. Pulled toward right center field. Fraley able to track All it right. down. Four Through to four. Angels one to one here. One, two, three. Fifth inning Angels should get credit for that hit and then a throw out at second. Fraley, Trammell, Shed Long Jr. So speed, speed, and a little power. Welcome back, Heidi Watney standing but by. Not before we say hi to Heidi. Hi, Heidi. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Mariners manager Scott Service during the break about his team's offensive performance so far. And one thing he mentioned is how well they're doing it, simply putting the ball in play. They currently have more than one hit per inning, and looking at strikeouts, they only have two. So far, the recipe for success has been to make contact early and often. All right, Heidi, thank you. And now here is Jake Fraley. He'll start off the fifth in this one. All right. Jake Fraley. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt, the first pitch. And he'll promptly send it in the air. Oh, drafts. That was actually pretty decent contact and just nothing doing there. Trying to figure out, by the way, what time this whole Hot Wheels unlo Unleashed racing season thing that they have going on starts today. That's inside. I haven't been able to find anything. It's kind of annoying. They said it started on the 11th. It is the 11th. Ooh. Next to hit, Shed Long Jr. It was a two-bagger for him in his last at-bat. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach this A.B. Ooh, okay. All the no strikes. 
thought about it, but nothing new in there. That ah, was a bad swing. Now a flare out toward right center. No, drop. Oh, that'll get down. That'll get down. Shedlong Jr. coming through. Hey, that's a nice piece of hidden by your three hole guy right there. First there you go. Not so much. Now they bring up the monster in the four hole with two outs. They have a chance to make a nice inning out of this. To the plate now, Kyle Seeger lifted in the air out towards left center. Upton's after it. But he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. That'll be a double. That's a double. That's a double. That's an RBI double from Kyle Seeger. Getting Shedlong Jr. around. Let's go. Maybe could have stretched that into a triple, but absolutely didn't need to. Whenever he gets a chance to produce, he seems like he takes advantage of it. Great example there. We are getting a pitcher who is a little tired here. Mitch Hanniger, the next to bat, as he will take a look Ooh, that is a four-seam fastball right down the middle. Down the no hits to this point. Looking to keep this a one-run game. Ooh, pitch. that was bad. That was bad. That was a bad. Bad, bad, bad. He doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open, so he has to focus on making a good pitch right here. That's outside. All right. Better take there. Lots of hits given up, but so flip those. At least he's flip those first two swings. Maybe you got something going. They haven't had to work too hard. Seager stands at second with two gone. Oh, we went back to back to back to back with the slider, and it got me. Fuck. Mariners pick up a run on the RBI double. Middle of the afternoon here at the Big A. It's now two to one Mariners. Welcome back to Anaheim as we check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Angels' offense with their manager between innings. And he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said they've been chasing at pitches out of the zone all game, which obviously doesn't usually lead to good results. Until they start being more selective with their swings, he said they will continue to struggle. Thank you, Heidi. Now to the plate, Brandon Marsh. And He'll lead things up. off as we begin the home fifth. The center fielder. Okay. Here we go. Halfway home. First pitch on the way. As he will take Here we go. Sam Della playing good news in line for the win, so there's that. Oh, not with a pitch like that. That's very bad. Thought about it, but nothing. We're okay. Boy, he sped him up in this at bat. Now it's time for the changeup. This guy's got a good one, and he hasn't thrown it yet in this at bat. Here comes the one two. Come on. down the third baseline. Let's go! Do something! High in the air down the right field line. Hanniger in pursuit. He gets That'll there work. to make the play for the first out of the inning. Probably destroyed his hip on that, uh, that wall there, but we did oh, it. Look at that log jam in second. 
One, two, three, four, five pitchers. A Mariner, an Angel, an Astro, two twins. And then you got Gonzalez right there with 16. He was cut down at second, attempting to stretch a base hit his first time through. Yeah, Matty, his wheels got him in trouble a little bit last time. He tried to take advantage. Thought... Oh, and he hammers it to deep right field. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. A solo shot down the line in right. Seven home runs for him on the year now, as the Angels have come back to tie things at two. Well, he had success earlier in the day, driving in their only run. And that success continues when he takes this pitch to his liking and makes sure some lucky kid gets a souvenir. He's been huge for them in this one. At the plate now, Max Stassi. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. There we go. Well, that kind of sucks, honestly. If a guy can't hit a certain pitch in a certain quadrant, why would you throw him anything else? Case in point, this guy's cold zone is away, and this pitcher keeps attacking that exact spot. So we got him swinging. Max Stassi becomes the second out in the bottom of the fifth. Fletcher. Into the box, David Fletcher. As he'll take a change up here for strike Damn it. one. A hit in Damn it. I know a run a one run lead isn't much, but give it up so easily. And immediately. Into the wind up, here comes the 0 and 1. High fly ball out to straightaway center. He's under it, and that ends the inning. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run through five innings and we're deadlocked now at two apiece. Taylor Cole takes over to start Taylor the Cole. On the mound. He has a 4.86 ERA and 37 starts, 8 and 5 record. No saves, no opportunities, 103.2 innings pitched, 80 to 51 strikeouts to walks. Mid 200s for batting averages, righties and lefties. Alright. They must have uh, just a goofed up bullpen here. That is surprising that that is a ball. Uh, four seam, a change up, a slider, and a curve ball. What we're now dealing with here. Oh, early on that changeup. Here comes the one two. Swing and a liner. A dive, but it's off his glove. Now that second base. Stepping in now, Dylan Moore. High in the air, carrying well out to deep center. A ball that's carrying. He can't make the play as it hops over the wall. And that's a break <laughs> that was such a weird defense. play. Everybody froze. From first from scoring. Hey, it's I don't know if he would have been able to get all the way around to the home, but... They might have held the runner at third because there were no outs, but who knows? Either way, they'll still wind up with a runner at second and third and still no outs after the ground rule double. And he popped him up. Over no, 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 no. God damn it. Damn it. That is unnecessary. Fuck me. Stop. 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 Frustration. Popping it up with two runners in scoring position. He'd like to get that one back. Speared on the dive. I'll take it. I'll take it. Whatever. Whatever. It's not what I wanted. 
using a base hit, it does bring the go-ahead run for his team. Up next, All right, Jake Fraley. Is working on a one for three thus far. From the stretch. Good Oof. Ooh, 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 way too late. I'm interested to watch this next pitch right here. He got a swing on a high fastball. I wonder if he's going to pull the old police sack and climb the ladder. Fielded cleanly. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. We had two runners in scoring position with nobody out, and then got three outs to get one run across. We have ten hits and only three runs, and we have had enough people in scoring position. It is such a struggle to get things going, and I... And, ah. That'll bring up the shortstop, Jose Iglesias. Not shortstop. Jose Iglesias. First pitch of the A.B. now. Now here's one high and pull, deep pull, to pull, left. Pull, pull, pull. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Nearly a big fly to start the inning. Oh, my Instead fucking God. That was an awful changeup. Huge swing of the bat right there. Just hooking foul. Would have tied the game. I know there's still a lot of game left, but that was potentially a huge momentum swing there. Gonna have to find a way to refocus and continue this at bat. God damn it. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Still one and two. Into the wind up. Just what I was thinking, Tom Murphy. Sorry, that wasn't a better pitch, but we still got the strikeout. One of the big advantages to pitching ahead in the count if you're a pitcher, because you have to cover both pitches if you're a hitter. You have to cover the off speed and the fastball. And in a one two count, you might be sitting off speed, and what happens? He gets the fastball, and he can't catch up to the express. And digging in next will be Anthony Rendon. As he will take strike one there we go. fastball here, no balls and a strike. I think we might try and get a new pitcher in here in the seventh. We have a good opportunity for a uh, Ken Giles save again. He just jinxed himself. Down the third baseline, but this will get foul for strike two. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Got him, Got him looking. Got him looking on the corner. That'll work. Strikeout number four. We're number one in the ERA leaders. J.A. Happ not doing as well lately. Just barely. 1.99 over 200. Pretty good distance between second and third, though. Just an Upton the next to hit. Two outs already on the K this inning, so he'll be looking to do better. And now the first pitch. There we go. Slider that did not bite outside. Offensive game plan needs to change right here. They need to get a little bit more aggressive. It's too late to try and work counts. Upton in a hole. I just I don't understand why it's too late. It's only the bottom of the sixth, and they're only down one. Standing so far, hitting nearly all of the spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. Oh, a fastball wow. That'll work. Today, he's gone on strikes. Angels are gone in order. They trail three to two. So stepping in is Taylor Trammell. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Now here's the first offering. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Swing and a liner. Drop, 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 drop. Fuck. Uh, strong out there and right and pull this one down for the first down. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. To 
to the plate now is the designated hitter, Shedlong Jr., trying to keep it going. A perfect three for three thus far. Oh, drats. I don't even fucking... Striding forward now, the Mariners' cleanup hitter, Kyle Seeger. It was an RBI double for him in his last I'm turn not even ir that irritated at the Shedlong Jr. situation. I'm just annoyed with myself because I haven't put anybody in the fucking bullpen. Warm them up. I guess schedule to put in game. Just take some pitches to give them some time, I guess. I, I don't know. Fuck me. Here's the first pitch to him. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Mariners are down on four pitches, but they still lead it three to two. Take some pitching. Just shut the fuck up, Sean. Just shut the fuck up. <laughs> Who cares? Andres Munoz gets the call from the pen to take the ball. There are his stats. Twenty holds in sixty-one games, a five and seven record with that seventy-seven point one innings pitched. Uh two point three three ERA hit strikeout number one hundred. That we do get uh Opportunity to warm him up a little bit. I mean, is this how you're supposed to do it? Is bring them in cold and like let them kind of finish finish warming up like this? Because I always try to make sure that they're good in the bullpen, but maybe that's the wrong way to do it. I uh, who knows? It's 155 games or whatever. Now we're learning how things work. That's always good. You put days and days and days of playing time into it and you go yeah all right this is that makes sense i put 200 hours into skyrim and i figured out you can shoot the bow no you're only down one right here but the exploding stuff that's coming out of the back end of a lot of teams bullpens i mean just north of 95 plus stuff diving all over the plate it's gotten a lot tougher to scratch what the fuck against these teams bullpens well, yeah, it's, it's gotten real rough. Oh, just inside. In his two at -bats so far. That slider did not bite at all. Mazzara on at first, nobody out. And he fouls this one off. Got him looking. All right, beautiful. Beautiful. One pitch, we can get a get out of this inning. the potential go ahead run as the ah, was too high too high it's ball one. we're good you know because this is just a one run game this doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be running around again i think he's going to challenge him right here the 2 is taken oh one. my god that is a merciful strike right there gas. triple digits on the radar gun fouled away that was a uh, very easily could have been a 3-0 count there. Three to two, our score in inning number seven. Here's a weekly hit fly ball off to the left side. In there, a base hit. Probably should have thrown a slider in there somewhere. That was a lot of the, a lot of the fastball. Been able to come up with that big knock. Well, you know what, Dero? This pitch has kind of worked around trouble the entire time so far. Another inning. Oh, good, this guy. Let's see if they can't get a big hit here, right here, and bust through on this one. Matt Thice comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Matt Thice, the entire reason they have two runs on the board. Hit pretty much all game. It remains to be seen if they can get it, but now sure would be a great time. Slider, slider. One out with the possible time. Runs on base here. 
God damn it. Another foul ball. That was a nasty pitcher's pitch right there. Most guys strike out on that one. He was able to scramble out a little bit and give him another chance. And hopefully this pitcher misses over the heart of the plate. Not going three. How about a two seam on the outside one, part of the plate? Jesus. Look out. Oh my fucking God. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, shut him down. He was two for two, batted in a run, and then obviously had the solo shot. So he felt like a felt like a big out there. That's a strike. I don't know what the fuck you're calling back there, Blue, but that's a strike. Yes, back to back sliders, back to back swings, back to back misses, strikeout. We're going to the eighth. One run lead for the Mariners. Woo! Oh, Munoz. Yeah, fuck yeah. Mike Mayers coming on in here. 30 games, 2 0 record, 16 holds, 31 innings, 203 ERA, 29 to 9 strikeouts to walk. A uh, four-seam slider, a cutter, and a curveball. First pitch on the way, and a fastball is in there for strike one. This is skied into short left center. Upton comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for route number one. Stepping up is Ty France. So far, two for three in this one. First offering on its way. That's low for a ball. Now, I do need to bring in another pitcher. I will... Trust myself. This one, everything we could have hoped for. Three to two in inning number eight. And this is lined hard oh. and deep left. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. No, oh, turn around and go to first, you son of a bitch. Fuck. I was watching the ball too much. I That should have been a double. Damn it. I thought I sent him. I thought I sent him to second, but... It's like I have no interest in extending the lead. Just, you know what? I like making it as, as tense as possible for myself. Brandon Brennan will be on the on the mound here for the eight. Um, 44 games, one and two record. 13 holds, 47.1 innings pitched with a 209 ERA. 49 to two strikeouts to walks. And a four pitch pitcher as Boston beats the Yankees four to zero. Houston taking care of the athletics. I did throw an extra fastball because I wasn't paying attention. Whoopsie daisy. 
That's a nice change up right there. That's a pretty okay slider. Go change up again. Then we'll go slider right here. And then two seam fastball to end it all. Bam. Okay, here we go. Top of the lineup. Back to the top of the Angels lineup now and stepping in, David Fletcher. As long as we avoid that one guy who uh, has the two ribbies, I think we'll be, I think we'll be okay. From the stretch, here's the pitch. That's a nice slider. That's the exact spot to lead Getting better. As a hitter, you just better location here. Talked about it pretty one. consistently over the last couple of weeks. I had lost the slider there for a while. Found that. Uh, and then the location has been better over the last way, the couple of series as well. That's a generous call. As a hitter, you see a pitcher working east-west. This is where you got to tell yourself to stay tall. You can't cover both sides of the plate. you got to pick one and trust it. This one's blooped out toward right center field. Wow. And there's a base hit. So there you wow. Go. The possible wow. It gave me... The the okay. That's fine. That's fine. Dan Count goes out the window with this batter right here. Doesn't matter Watch me. I pulled him way out of position. I don't know if he would have gotten it. Some guys that just had a knack, D-Row, of being able to get the barrel to the ball. And this is one of those guys. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. Uh, so who, what kind of speed? Strike. 55 speed. Fletcher gets his lead at first, nobody out. And they'll play for the tie here as he puts this one down. There's one on to first. That's fine. That's fine. I'll take the lead runner. That's fine. Took a pretty long time for the shortstop to receive the ball that time. So that gave the runner plenty of time to bear down on him and take him out. Hopefully everyone... Here's, here's my thought process on it. I thought the ball was coming in a little faster. I thought that I I, I didn't realize how close of a play that was going to be at second. And so I saw it and I thought, ooh, that's that's hit really hard. So I tried to charge it to get the preloaded throw to turn to second. But I will take the... Uh, I'm set with the 0-1. Softly hit down to third, likely no shot at two. Boom! That's how you do it. That's what I was looking for. Yes, yes, yes. Fuck yes. Woo! Let's go. That worked out beautifully. Beautifully. Okay. 3-2, we got to bring in Giles. Or we're going to bring in Giles. Here comes the first pitch. Barring some sort of massive ninth inning here. We will be flipping over to uh, some speed with Fraley and Trammell. Oh, wow. That Way behind that. Holy shit. Holy shit. I think it's about time to choke up on that that's one bad swing. That one's off. Late on all of these fastballs. I mean, if he's smart, he just stays with it. I was a little better time that time, but... No, that was the better call. Ah, uh, fuck me. It is... It boggles my mind that Cleveland did not make the playoffs. They got off to such a hot start this year. They were locked into that first that first um, wild card spot like up until like the All-Star break. And then I don't know if it was like injury but disaster struck and like fuck. Damn it. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes Come on. I like I just can't I can't get a break with him. Schedule on in Ken Giles.
first offering on its way as he swings ah, and lifts damn. it in the air out a little late field. and a little under it. under it no problem with this one and the inning is over so no runs no hits no errors that's that's no frustrating left. nothing further in the seattle ninth last chance coming up now for the angels they trail it here by just a run all right this is it do I still want to change pitchers? Giles Absolutely. Ken Giles. 64 games. Totally accurate battle simulator. That one's uh, that one's ready to go. Uh, 64 games, 3-2 and two record, 45 out of 47 saves and opportunity. 63 innings and in ERA, even one. And some other stats. And a nice location on that slider there. Now the good news with that double play is we didn't shift the batting order lower. So we saw one, two, three. We'll see four, five, six. And I don't know exa I don't know exactly where that one guy is. Um, that has the home run. He's he might be six or seven. But with a little bit of luck and some good pitching here, we can get out of this. Without having to uh, to see him, of course, the sports story writing would go that he hits a game-winning home run. So, hopefully, that's not the case. So here's the cleanup hitter, Justin Upton. Lifetime numbers against Ken Giles. Very lopsided for the pitcher, 0 for 15. There we go. Slider. Strike one to start the at bat. Now Ken Giles has a good, a good fastball, 98 miles an hour. Top shot, I believe, at 100. Got him. Got him. Wow. Wow. I am surprised that that was the result. We can get uh, we can get a save here. Give ourselves second place. Rogers has locked that win up. Fifty-five of them this season, which means that like over half of their games are half of their wins, I should say. Whew, I thought that was gonna sail a little bit more. Half of the Twins' wins. Um, have been in save situations, at least. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. Back to back sliders in on the hands. He didn't handle it real well at all in the previous pitch, so why not come right back with it again? Better job of laying off that one, though. God damn it. Looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Swing line drive. That's going to be trouble. He takes the turn and heads for second. I think I went back one too many times with that slider. Fuck me. And now for the Angels, Dexter Fowler. It's been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. Yeah, too many, uh, too many sliders. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw on to first is in. And that was again another slider. Thankfully, it was on the outer half of the plate. At the plate now is okay, so he must be the eight hole hitter. The guy that I'm thinking about. But we can't worry about that right now. I thought he was six or seven. He wants that right in the same spot. First pitch on its way. There we go. There we go. I really didn't want to throw another slider right there. Everybody stepping dugout. Get on this guy and make him nervous. 
That was almost a terrible throw. That was almost a horrendous throw. I barely even hit it. That was in the yellow. That could have been a disaster, but thank God it wasn't. Mariners win 3-2. to two. Whew. I don't know about playing well in all three phases, but defensively we got just enough, and we might have eliminated the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim from uh, division title contention today. We'll have to check those standings here in just a minute. Um, good finish. Uh, fell down, tied it, got the lead, gave up the lead, got one back, scored in three consecutive innings. The problem is, is that hit to run ratio really out of whack. Had a ton of hits, a lot of left on base. Um, that was a huge play in the eighth. If that's the one that I'm thinking of, ginormous. The the bunt decision was risky. And obviously it's easy to look at it and go, well, got out of the inning, so not that big of a deal. Um, whew. Whew. Sam Delaplay and your player of the game. Again, I don't know. Ty France and Shedlong Jr. both were three for four. Shedlong Jr. had a double and a run. Ty France scored two runs. Um, Dylan Moore, Kyle Seeger, both one of them, both of them, one for four, with a double. Kyle Seeger though had that RBI. Sam Delaplane does get the player of the uh, player of the game, and he gets the win, win number eighteen on the season. He has one more shot to to vault himself to a tie with the uh, the league leader. Taylor Cole gets the loss, two innings pitch, two hits, no strikeouts, no walks, one earned run. Sam Delaplane stat line, which I realized I didn't read because I got distracted. Six innings pitched, six hits, five strikeouts, two earned runs. Uh, and Ken Giles picks up save number 46. Uh, putting him in second, but it's going to be a pretty distant second because 55 is the number to beat, and we don't even have enough games to get him there. We have seven games left. We have a series finale tomorrow. Uh, good fourth, fifth, and sixth inning, scoring 1-1-1. One, one, and one. So it was triple zeros, triple ones, triple zeros. 11 hits, three runs scored. And uh, some more progress in the eighth inning program. I believe today is the last day to do that. It might not even be available tomorrow when this video posts. I don't know. Uh, we're on a five-game win streak. Most of them, though, have been very close. That 9-1 to one win in Oakland is uh, the anomaly. But we have one more game left. We have given ourselves one more pack of cards to open with this Allen and Ginter World's Champion Baseball Pack. And I do have the other cards available somewhere. I don't know where they went. Oh, there they are. They got a sweatshirt got put on them. I do have these. So maybe if we get a sweep tomorrow, we'll open an Allen and Ginter and we'll open one of these. Um, but I have that for when we run out because I was like a pack short, so... Uh, obviously, just buy a whole box. I don't know. That does give us an opportunity to open some stuff during playoff games, maybe playoff wins or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. Um, I also don't know if that is, like, a reason that people watch. I have no idea. I just started doing it, and I enjoyed it, so I've kept doing it all season long. <sighs> there you go. Win number five in a row. Uh, we have, you know, since uh, this road trip has gone well, only two losses, but they have been two baffling losses and a real struggle of a series in Oakland. The bats still a little cold here in Los Angeles, but hopefully we can uh, get things turned around. We'll have to tinker around with some of the lineup tomorrow as well. We will get Lewis back, though we'll, we might put uh, Hanniger on the bench. We'll have a little Shedlong Jr. in there. We might have the speed outfield look tomorrow you'll just have to tune in to find out what happens um really quickly we'll take a look at the standings usually i save these for the beginning of the day but i, I think uh i think we'll go ahead and uh celebrate the fact that win number 99 clinched us the division your 2021 american league west division champions seattle mariners 95 and 56 the twins 101 and 54 they have had theirs uh They've had their division locked up for quite a while. Um, and then you have the Blue Jays with the Yankees hot on their heels for the American League East. And then the Yankees three games back as the Astros have six wins in a row. But the Angels have six losses in a row. So, uh, so Los Angeles might go backing into that. Um, backing into the playoffs. The Yankees need to get some wins. The Yankees need... They need to get probably two wins... Over the next couple of days, hope that the Mariners, that we can knock them down a little bit more. 
or the Astros trip up. Um, otherwise, everybody else is uh, pretty much eliminated. We're getting uh, we're getting down to it. A little more interesting over in the National League. The Brewers, they're two games back. The Nationals kind of fallen short here, though they are on a six-game win streak, which is unfortunate for them that they aren't able to uh, aren't able to maybe be in a better position. Nine and one in their last ten, but who knows? Who knows what could happen to Atlanta? Their elimination number is two, though maybe they have a good series that favor them. The Dodgers clinch the uh, National League West. The Padres are in the wild card. Cardinals lead the Brewers in the Central, and the Mets have the division in the East. So there's your uh, kind of updated standings there. Figured to go a little more in depth because we only have about a week left. You can tune in tomorrow for the series finale against Los Angeles. The final road game will play this regular season. We have clinched the division. We don't have to worry about the wild card. Feels great. Um, so we'll see you tomorrow at 1 p.m. Pacific time. And we'll see if we can maybe make a little bit of a run at um, at Minnesota. We have, we're two games back of them right now for the best division, which would, I guess, give you the, the number one seed. So maybe we can uh, maybe we can make a run at that. We got to get better. Got to get uh, got to get the bats hot again, especially with Fraley. Get those wheels on the base pads and then come through with some power. Thank you again so much for watching. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Chance to open two packs of baseball cards. So tune in, subscribe, ring that bell. Make sure you're all notified and ready to roll. And we'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow at 1 p.m. Pacific time right here on YouTube.com/slash Rex. Thank you for watching and go Mariners.